New video has surfaced of the arrest of 16 Marines four months ago at Camp Pendleton for their alleged involvement in a human smuggling ring. Now an attorney for one of the Marines has filed a pretrial motion calling the public arrest unlawful command influence. News 8's Heather Hope spoke with the attorney and joins us with that video. Heather? Carla, we have obtained clips of the arrest video on base while the Marines attorney says those are just part of a 15 minute long video clip she calls an embarrassment to all those charged and not convicted yet in this case. I will say this video after I watched it, it was disturbing. Footage has surfaced of the July 25th arrest where over a dozen Camp Pendleton Marines were taken into custody for an alleged smuggling ring. The media officer for the Comstrat recorded it and we just learned about it about a week and a half ago. Military defense attorney and former Navy JAG Bethany Peyton O'Brien represents one of the Marines in the alleged ring. My client has been in jail for over 100 days. Peyton O'Brien filed a pretrial motion for unlawful command influence based on the battalion formation arrest. And the defense attorney alleges that this humiliation took place right in front of the Camp Pendleton front gates. The public humiliation of my client and others in that arrest was wrong. It was illegal and the Marine Corps' attempt to try to influence the outcome of this case and poison the jury pool. Peyton O'Brien says her 27-year-old client is charged with transportation of illegal aliens and he is innocent until proven guilty. She says the way the Marines went about the arrest was embarrassing as the formation was allegedly called for an award ceremony, which turned out to be the opposite as 40 NCIS agents swarmed in. When they were then in front of their battalion, the sergeant major motioned to them, to law enforcement, to come arrest them. They were then arrested in front of their battalion, handcuffed and taken away. In a statement from Marine First Lieutenant Cameron Edinburgh, 16 of the 24 you cited were detained on July 25th. The other eight were questioned for alleged involvement in drug-related offenses. 13 Marines have been charged. We have not released the video publicly and do not intend to do so. The video was filmed as a way to document the detainments that took place in an unbiased, non-editorialized manner. There is definitely a way to discourage Marines from committing misconduct, but having a public humiliating arrest is wrong. The 1st Marine Division also wrote it is cooperating with the judicial proceedings regarding this case. New at 630, what's next for the case and its future court dates? Carlo and Barbara Lee. Thanks, Heather.